Hello, I am coming to you from Avalon in Catalina Island, almost the exact geographic center of the city, in fact, uh, to bring you the story of this building right behind me. Now, for the past decade or so, uh, this was called Overlook Hall, and it was a community center, an event space. Uh, you could go there for weddings and such. But it was actually built in 1929 as the uh, center for the Christian science community here. It was called the Christian Science Society building. And this is architecturally significant as the very first building on Catalina Island uh, to be designed in the uh, Spanish colonial revival style. And that's a style that would take hold of the island and become sort of the style du jour for the next half century or so. In addition, this building is of symbolic importance to Avalon because it was like a beacon of morality and temperance at a time when Avalon was kind of known as a pioneer town with brothels and gambling and these offshore liquor barges. There was a fire in 1915 that burned down about half the buildings in Avalon. And so by the time this was built in 1929, uh, the built world of Avalon was kind of a mishmash of different architectural styles. There wasn't one thing that made the entire uh, area look coherent. Now, that all changed when William Wrigley Jr. bought the place in 1919. So he was the owner of the island. And if you recognize that name, Wrigley, from the chewing gum, yes, that's the same guy. That was his fortune. So when he bought the island, he had this idea that he wanted to develop it in a coherent way and a way that referenced, at least visually speaking, the island's past as part of one of the uh, last Spanish land grants from the 18th century. So he hired this firm of Weber and Spalding, same guys that designed the famous uh, Catalina Casino. Weber and Spalding patterned the building after a particular 13th century church in uh, Florence, Italy, but without all the decorative hoo-ha and columns and such that typify a lot of Italian Renaissance stuff. So this is a pretty simple, clean building, um, more in line with the Spanish colonial revival style. Those walls are pretty plain other than some cool wrought iron lighting fixtures and that Roman brickwork over the arches. Over on the other side, you'll see there's a very Mission Revival style campanile, that bell tower. It's hard to see from here, but they put a patio up at the top, and that leads to a simple sanctuary. The wooden door at the bottom leads to a classroom where, from the 20s through the 90s, they would hold Sunday school every weekend at 9.30 a.m. I appreciate how the simplicity of the design and the fact that you have to walk up a 45-degree hill just to get here kind of lends itself to a sense of Christian humility. That lettering that says Overlook Hall was added around 2011 when the Christian Science Society sold it to a professional renovator who spruced it up but didn't make any substantial changes. I heard from the locals that recently it permanently closed. I don't know if that's pandemic related or not, but as is, it stands as an important building in the context of Avalon's development and a really cool symbol of what it was like in the early days of this beautiful city. Thanks for doing LA with me.